There we go. I don't know, boy, it's a nice fish. I um, I don't know if you saw what I did there. Is I made a, it's, we have some depth down here. So I made a nice tuck cast. I got my flies to depth right away. And as the, as the run got a little deeper there at the bottom end, I just lowered my cider into the water and he nailed it. He hit the dropper. Got a France fly. Nice, nice chunk. Thank you there, Mr. Brown. Nice 14 incher. Nice fish. So this run right here, it's a little shallow here. Right there, it drops off and gets deeper there. So I fired my bugs over, did a nice tuck cast. My bugs got the depth right away. And because of that, when it got to the far end here, right about there, I was able to lower my rod and dip my cider into the water and that fish hit. Had I not tucked it in, if I would have kind of lazily flipped it over there, it would have taken all the way to the end to maybe get to depth. And that's the importance of that tuck cast, getting it over to the rod tip, driving those bugs into the water. And I'm gonna show you how to do that here in a moment. <clears throat> the way I like to do a tuck cast is, it's just human nature. Um, people look at a run and where their intended target is, they tend to go like this and they end up pointing the rod tip where they're looking. And that's why the bugs ends up, they kind of slap on the water and the cider hits the water. So what you should do, instead of focusing on the run and your target, look above the target, look in the horizon. In this case, you see that kind of bent tree. And what's gonna happen is, so we're gonna look at our run and we have the correct amount of line out. So just before we release our front cast or our forward cast, look up into the horizon there and in this case that bent tree and you're going to end up stopping your rod tip there so boom rod st stops at that tree you see the flies dove over the tip of the rod just really simple just stop the rod right at that bent tree boom the flies fly over the tip of the rod and they just tuck right in just like that that's the tuck cast right there. If you want to do a full tuck cast, what I like to do is I'll even look up higher. So we're not going to look at that bent tree. We're going to look at those, say those, the second, I don't know if you can see it out there, there's a couple pine tree limbs. We're going to stop it up there. But what you have to do is when you make the forward cast and you stop it, just give a little. So you're going to stop and then give a little. So it's you stop high, then give a little. And what that does is the bugs fly over the rod tip and when they start, they kind of reach the apex and then they start diving down. And the reason you want to give a little is you want to create a little bit of slack that enables your flies to drive to the bottom. You don't want to have any tension in the line because they'll end up pulling back. So once again, we're going to look at that second limb up there and we're going to do a nice tuck cast. Stop, boom, and I gave. So just stop, you can see how they just, so stop, boom. So stop high, give a little, and the flies just dive right down. Completely unhindered by any tension in the line. So it's stop high, give a little, the flies just go right over and they dive straight down to the bottom. That's it, that's the tuck cast, real easy. Just stop high, give a little, boom. Flies tuck over the rod, drive straight down to the bottom.